Welcome to the TechFix Printer and Copy channel. This channel is dedicated to sharing techniques and experiences in repairing printers, photocopiers, and dealing with toner issues. If you find the videos helpful, please support me by subscribing to the channel, liking the videos, and sharing them with others. In this video, I'll provide you with a detailed, step-by-step -step guide. From a to Z on how to refill toner place the drum, drum blade, and drum chip for the HP Neverstop Laser 1000W120OW cartridge. Before starting, it's highly recommended to perform a test print both before and after the process to compare the results effectively. Watch the video and don't forget to support me by hitting the subscribe button, giving a like, and sharing this video with others. Your support means a lot. Thank you for watching. Remove three screws from each side, then carefully separate the two side covers of the cartridge. Remove three screws from each side, then carefully separate the two side covers of the cartridge. Use a flathead screwdriver to carefully separate the two side covers. Pay close attention to the contact pushings on both side covers. Make sure not to lose them, as missing pushings can result in black print errors or blank pages. Remove the magnetic roller blade and clean it thoroughly. A characteristic of this cartridge model is that toner tends to accumulate heavily on the magnetic roller blade. Vacuum out all the remaining toner in the magnetic roller compartment. If you don't have a vacuum cleaner, find a way to carefully dispose of the toner. This step is crucial to avoid incompatibility between the new toner and the old toner, as well as to remove any paper dust that may be inside the compartment. Take your time with this step to ensure that your prints will look stunningly clean and vibrant after refilling the toner. Clean the magnetic roller blade thoroughly, as toner residue on it can prevent adequate and even toner coverage on the magnetic roller. This is a common cause of faint prints and white streaks. Using a cotton swab dipped in acetone solution is the best way to clean the magnetic roller blade thoroughly. Now, let it move on to the drum unit and drum blade. Remove the drum shaft in this direction. Next, remove the drum charging roller and clean it thoroughly.
Use a cloth soaked in alcohol to clean the drum charging roller. Then, remove the two screws to take out the drum cleaning blade. Dispose of all the waste toner here. Use baby powder or printer toner to apply on the surface of the drum blade. The drum shaft has two different ends. The flat, D-shaped end should be placed on the side of the drum gear. Gently rotate the drum, and once the powder on the drum surface is wiped off, it's good to go. Rotate the drum like this to avoid toner spilling from the hopper. Make sure to align the position as I've pointed out so that everything fits properly. Now, 
It's time to refill the toner into the hopper. Pour in two bottles of toner.
And here is the result. After cleaning the magnetic roller, refilling the toner, and replacing the drum chip for the 104 a cartridge. Thank you for watching the video. If you found the video helpful, please give me a subscribe, like, share, and leave a comment. Goodbye and see you in the next videos.